Hey guys, Andrea. I know this probably could be a little late for you guys, but for me, I still wear hats because it's cold outside, number one. And springtime around here is windy. That could be a good thing and a bad thing. One, it could ruin your hairdo. Two, it could keep your hair in place while the wind blows. <laughs> the hats that I'll be using are all from Mooncats. They are a website which have very chic and beautiful scarves, gloves, and hats, and turbans. Check them out down below. They sent me a turban as well as a hat for me to review for you guys. It's been two weeks now since I've had them, since I've been wearing them. This one is a black one and I'm gonna put the name right here, Sparkly Black. And this one is just no sparkles, just a black turban. The difference with these hats that I've noticed from other hats that I usually wear, because I always wear hats, especially like I said, if I'm going to school, is the fact that when I wear this, my head is very sensitive. I actually keep it on, even in classrooms and everything. I actually went to bed with this one. It was very comfortable. Usually hats, after I wear for a while, the band, I feel it around my head. It feels like it's really tight, a little bit tighter than what it should be. And I remove them as soon, as soon as I get to class or something like that. But this one, I actually went to bed with it because it was really, really comfortable. That's the only difference I see it from other already good quality hats, all right? So, totally worth it just on the hat. I'm probably going to go and purchase a scarf from them because the scarves are really, really pretty. Good quality. So... I'm gonna put it on. I usually, this is how I apply my hats. I look for the, you know, the paper to put it on. And I fold the top. Why? Because that's just how I do it. I usually also put my bangs out like this. And then it just frames around my face. This is how I would mostly wear the normal way, right? And I have a turban, which I actually found somebody to make one for me. And it will. It's taking a while, but this one it was already made. The difference is it'll get to your house in about less than a week. So yes, and I got it from the same price as I would buy this in store. Same price as somebody making it for me and what I would get it from the Mooncat site. So this is what it looks like. Very, very, very beautiful as you can see. It looks like a bow to me. That's why I got it. I'm gonna put it the normal way, right? Right there. And then I just push it the back down like this. And I make sure my bangs are out of the way on oh, my part, right on my division, right there. And this is how I would wear my turban the usual way that everybody would wear it, right? Real quick, I'm gonna show you guys some hairstyles that I wear when I have hats, just a few. Start with my first hairstyle, which is with a bob. I do have layers, so I'm just gonna get all my layers and take my long layers out of the way. I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna put the hair through the slit and just fold it in. Just like so. If it's messy, even better, all right? As you can see, I need this hair, so it's okay. Once it's folded, just pull it out. Pull the hair out just a little bit. And since it's folded, it will stay there. So pull the hair out. Make sure your hat stays on. And just like that, you can just pull a short haircut, right? Letting the bangs just flow, right? And I have the hair to work with. I'm just going to grab all the hair. I'm just going to twist it. I always twist or curl the hair away from my face, so it's going to be away from my face. And then I'm just going to twirl right here on I love this one, especially on the days that I don't want my hair to fly everywhere. I just have to leave something on the side to just give that feminine vibe. And I just roll in everything on the other side, leaving my bun out, but covering everything that shows that holds the bun, I guess. Same section is actually a twist. I love doing twists, especially with a hat. I divide my hair in two and I twist both sides towards the same direction. So I'm twisting both sides away from my face. you can see and then I twist them together on the opposite direction As you can see some hairs starting to come out and that's what adds on to the effortless look 
and this is just how it would look just effortless I love this look this is one of my favorites and I just make sure I have strands of here right in the beginning of the braid so this part won't show just to like add some, something to the twist I would say right you can see this is the effortless twist my turban uh, like I said I like keeping my hair down but if I want to do with a half up I usually grab the hair and I twist as you can see I just twist it up just to create that decor effect I usually do on one side and I leave the other side just like so but I'm gonna do it on the other side just to show you guys how it would look like so. If you want, you can put your bangs in as well, and this is what he would look like. And my hair is all to the back, right? Just like so. And I create a hump. I just pull and then I pull my turban down. Probably would expect it, so I just braid it down. And when you braid it, braid it halfway, don't braid it all the way. And that is it, you just have some volumized hair and don't go all the way down so you can have the curl effect and you can just be effortless like this. This is my favorite braid, my favorite normal braid. If it's not a fishtail braid, I usually have it halfway done, all right? And that's really it. And whether you're using a turban or a hat, it would usually complement both accessories. So yes, my favorite one is a simple hat, especially at nighttime. <laughs> Guys, that is it. Those are just a few hairstyles that I would wear when I have my hats on. Check them out down below and thank you for watching. Bye. So in this video, I'm going to be featuring two hairstyles for Valentine's.